Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Kyle, I'm the Southport Mazda Delivery Coordinator. In this short little video, I'm gonna be taking you through a few of the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Let's get right into it. Starting things off with the outside of the car, just getting into the car with your Mazda key fobs. On the Max Sport, on the side, you've got your lock and unlock buttons respectively. Hit the unlock button and you're in your car. Just before we jump into the car, just in your door here, you'd see you have your four window switches. On the right, your child lock for your windows. The buttons and switches on the left fold in your side mirrors and the joystick is to adjust your mirror's positioning. Coming down from there, you can see you've got also got your fuel latch and also your bonnet latch. Up from there, you can see you've got your eye stop off button, lane support off button, and your traction control off button as well. Once you've jumped into the car, to start the engine, simply put your foot on the brake pedal, start stop button lights up green, and give it a press. Starting off firstly in your gauge cluster, you can see here over on the right, all Mazdas from Southport Mazda come with a full tank of fuel. So you can see there your full tank of fuel. Engine temperature, in your middle where your digital cluster is. Down on the bottom right is the car's odometer. And above that is your range. Up on the top left is your built-in traffic sign recognition system, which also comes up on the car's built-in active driving display as well as your speedo. It is worth noting as well if you wish to adjust your heads up display up and down with your Mazda entertainment screen using the command dial you rotate it over to the right to settings and push it to select. The first menu that comes up is your active driving display. This is where you can select height by simply pushing the dial again and when you look back at the windshield and rotate the dial you can see the grid will come up and that's how you can position it where you need. Moving back a little bit to your steering wheel, over on the right hand side you do have your auto headlights and indicators. Over on the right hand side of the steering wheel buttons you have your cruise control, you have your on and off buttons, set plus and set minus and on the left you have the switch to adjust the car's distances for the radar cruise control. Turn the system on set the speed limit like you normally would and when you use the arrows here they'll come up in your cluster. Each rectangle represents a two car length gap to the car in front of it. Two, four, six or eight car lengths. Over here on the left you have your windshield wipers, automatic windshield wipers of course and then on the left here you have the buttons for your volume voice commands, change songs, and then answer and hang up the phone for the car's Bluetooth. Coming down into the middle where the climate control is, the CX-5 Max Sports come with the dual zone climate control, meaning the passenger and driver can have your different temperatures, and whatever the driver's side has is what the rear air vents get for your rear seat passengers. But as you can see, all the buttons, you've got your power, outside air, inside air for your filters, front and rear windshield demisters and then down below here button here switches between your face and feet and windshield fan speeds plus or minus and then you can toggle between ac off ac on or ac eco coming from the air conditioner unit just below the gear selector off to the side worth noting you do have the car's sports switch here pushing that forward it will toggle the gauge cluster into its sports mode and this will over rev the car to help you get up the hills faster. 
Moving below the gear selector, here is the main commander dial for the screen and complemented to the right is the car's handbrake. Now with the handbrake, you do need to have your foot on the brake pedal to use it and you push it down to turn it off and you click it up to turn it on. The button below the handbrake is the auto hold. When this is activated, this means you can take your foot off the brake pedal when you're stationary and the car will hold itself in place until you accelerate. Moving to the main commander dial here, you do have two dials, this little tiny one on the left over here. This is your volume, so you can rotate this left and right to increase and decrease your volume or you can push it to mute. Don't forget you do have the volume buttons on the steering wheel on the left hand side here as well. Down at the dial as well, there's a few buttons situated around it. You do have your favorites button here. Pressing this button will bring up your favorites menu. And this is where you can load up your favorite radio stations, contacts, and your addresses for your sat nav. Above, you've got your three shortcut buttons, music, home, and navigation. These will cycle between your three main screens. Music will take you to your entertainment screen. Home will take you back to the car's home screen and then the navigation button pressing this will bring open the car's GPS starting off first with the navigation screen it is worth noting when you are putting in an address you must be stationary with the car's handbrake turned on Otherwise, the car will think it's in motion and won't let you enter an address. To enter an address, you can use the touchscreen function, as I just mentioned. New destination is that button just there. So you press this flag with a plus on it to bring open your menu. And you can see here, you've got your four main menus. Find address is how you can search for someone's house. Navigate home is how you can program home into the car. Find places is how you can search for locations such as fuel stations, parking lots, theme parks, restaurants, and favorites is how you can install your favorite addresses into the car. To put in an address, it is quite simple. When you press on the find address option, it brings open the menu just here. Now, depending what state you're in, the car will know to preset Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, wherever you might be. So you simply put in the suburb, street name, and house number. For example, you can type in Southport, which is of course where we're located here. Enter your street name. And then from here, you can enter the house number, or you can simply just select the entrance to the street. Doing either or will take you to this little menu here just to finalize everything. And then when you hit navigate to, the car will begin a 10 second countdown just to calculate the fastest route. If you wanna bypass this, you can just press the dial to bypass it and then you're away. When an address is put into the car, parts of the sat nav will come up on the active driving display out in the distance as you can see here. It says turn left in Rawlins Street in 90 meters, which is exactly what it's showing us on the screen as well. Down on the dial in the middle, when you press the home button to go back to your home screen, you are then presented with your five main menus here. Over to the left, if you push this, your applications, this will come into your fuel economy and your vehicle status monitors, and also your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Fuel economy monitor, just selecting this. This is how you can monitor your car's fuel economy in depth. Let's go back. You can press the back button situated to the right hand side of the dial. Next menu, of course, and vehicle status monitor. In your gauge cluster, because it is a digital screen, if the car ever has any warning lights come on the dash, the car will tell you, and then you can enter your vehicle status monitor here, and you can choose your warning guidance. Of course, there's no warnings found. And the next menu here is your maintenance. This is how you can go through your car's servicing computers. Back to the home screen. The next menu is the entertainment function. You can push the dial, or as mentioned earlier, you can simply just press the entertainment shortcut button down above the dial. From here, you can select FM, 
and this will go to your radio. It is worth noting, every time you hover over a button, the car will tell you what it is before you press it. So for example, here is your station list. So pushing on this with the dial, bring open the station list, and the car will automatically preload the local stations based on the strongest signal, and you find which one you want, and you select it. And that'll lock it in until you change it. A couple extra buttons worth noting, you do have scan and tune, of course. This is how you can come in. You can actually manually tune stations into the car if you wish. And then you just push the dial to select it. And over on the very, very far left, entertainment, this is how you can switch between FM, AM, digital radio, and Bluetooth once your phone is connected. On the subject of Bluetooth, this middle menu just here, your communication menu, when you press on this with your dial, if there's not a phone connected, you'll be presented with this screen here. Simply select connect and then select add new device. A three minute timer is presented and you go onto your phone, go onto your settings, go onto your Bluetooth menu and it should just be called Mazda. You press on that, check for a pairing code, press pair and the car will connect to your phone automatically and also download your contacts if you allow it. As we plug our uh, USB into the top USB port there and have our phone plugged in, you'll then get the option on your Mazda screen here for Apple CarPlay. Simply push the dial to agree. You'll then get a prompt on your phone. Just press allow. And then Apple CarPlay will activate automatically for you. Now, as you control your music, home and navigation buttons, this will go between all of your apps. Last menu over here on the far right is the settings for the car. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is how you can come in and move up and down the active driving display. With the dial, if you toggle it left and right like a joystick, this is how you can go between your different menus. Display, safety, sound, clock, vehicle, devices, and the car's system settings. In the CX-5 Max Sport, these are all your safety features, of course. Distance and recognition support system is the car's radar cruise control. SBS is your smart brake support and your smart city brake support. This is the emergency braking systems in the car that take action if the car determines you're going to have a crash. Blind spot monitoring system in your side mirrors, a little orange light will illuminate when someone enters your blind spot. And if you indicate when someone is in said blind spot, the car will beep through the speakers and the blind spot systems in the mirrors will flash at you. Lane keep assist system. The lane keep assisting system aids the car back into the middle of the lane if the driver gets too close to the white lines on the road. In your gauge cluster, if you look in your gauge cluster, you can see there is two black lines in the middle of the gauge cluster, as indicated just there. They illuminate white when the car picks up the lanes and they flash orange at you when the car activates the lane support system. As mentioned earlier in the video, in the gauge cluster located is also the traffic sign recognition system as well as on your heads up display. Driver attention alert will alert the driver after half an hour to an hour's worth of driving to let you know to take a break and the parking sensors are built in with the reversing camera. So when you put the car into reverse, reversing camera comes on. That beep that the car just made when we engage reverse is the sensors activating. You can see up there on the top right, those are the parking sensors. And if I turn the handbrake off and start reversing back towards these chairs, you can see the parking sensors are activating. So there you have it, that's a video on the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Congratulations again. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below of what you found useful in the video. Also just let us know how you're going with your brand new car. Let us know what you love about it. My name is Kyle. Congratulations again from all of us here at Southport Mazda. Welcome to the Southport Mazda family.